Up my keys. Hello, I made it to Milan and checked into my Airbnb. It's actually very cute. I will give you guys a room tour tomorrow. I'm just in a rush because I'm going to go vintage shopping now before it closes at 7 30. And then I'm going to Chifa for a delicious, delicious Chinese meal in Milan. I miss Asian food so much. So I'm very excited bring you guys along with me to vintage shopping. I finally made it after taking a taxi to the wrong spot. Let's go shopping. vintage dress and a, a Gucci vintage blouse. I'm definitely not going to get the blouse, but debating about the dress. This vest is way too big. I'm not going to show you guys the bottom because I'm not wearing pants, but it's way too large. Found the proper way to wear it. I think it's very cute. It has a lot of potential. If it was shorter, it would be even cuter. LOL at the Burberry Trench. If only it wasn't 223 euros. Help me take some content today at Galleria Vittorio Emanuele. What she said, Galleria Vittorio Man Emanuele. Yeah, perfect. There you go. I'm gonna try my first panzerotti. Yeah. Uh, salty and sweet, but I'm thinking that I'm going to get a salty one. Good morning. Not even good morning, good afternoon. It's 310 just woke up from my nap I'm exhausted 
but I am going to do a little bit of admin work and then I have a meeting with Amazon at 3.30. That's why I'm awake and not sleeping. And I'm going to get tickets to the Duomo and we'll take some nice sunset photos. I'll bring you guys along with me. I feel like this entire trip has just been me being awake and then showing you guys me eating, sightseeing, and that's pretty much it. Which I guess is good. I don't know. Tell me what you guys want to see from me down below in the comment section. Fluffy and crazy from being in the roller, but that is what we want. We're playing the waiting game. How cute! I'm taking so many L's today. <laughs> Lady of the Duomo yelled at me so I couldn't get my sunset photo. I mean video. Um, and I just got takeaway from here because they're full for tonight even for one person. I'm really sad. I really wanted to eat here tonight. It's okay, I have work to do, so it all works out. Everything happens for a reason. Hello, I am back in the apartment. I'm gonna put on a show. Jonathan is re-watching Arrested uh, is watching Arrested, Arrested Development for the first time and it's making me wanna re-watch it. For those who don't know, Arrested Development is actually my favorite show. So I'm actually very happy that he started it because now I can say all the funny inside jokes with him. Now I'm going to eat my takeaway. Negi Toro. The Katsu Don. Kind of dark because for some reason this Airbnb just doesn't have light. But is the katsu don and i'm assuming this sauce is for it but not 100 percent sure mm. yeah it's definitely for the sandwich good morning everyone let me turn on the light happy wednesday this is my third day in milan and I am just about to head out. This is the look. I'm not sure about these rollers. People might stare at me, but if I don't do it, my hair is gonna become flat instantly because it's super humid today. I'm gonna take this time to do a little house tour. So here you have the kitchen. It has a microwave. It has a stove top. It has a mini fridge there garbage then you turn here you have the entrance to the airbnb you have the wi-fi thing that does not work table chairs lounge chairs bathroom over there and then a nice little quaint spot for you to sleep that's it that's all it's kind of messy because i'm by myself and it doesn't matter so i'm going to take you guys along with me today while i Take some content and maybe go shopping. Crossing my fingers. This is what I look like in the metro. No big deal. I finally made it off the tram and now we're taking the subway. Going to a Vietnamese restaurant. And you've never actually had Vietnamese food before, have you? No, this is my first time. Yes! I 
love soup. Like, I think soup is my love language. I just like to put chilies on everything because I eat very spicy. So we are now at Milan's Chinatown. Yeah? It's this like street that is full with Asian restaurants, mostly Chinese restaurants, bubble tea shops. And it's very interesting because I never thought that I would see so many Chinese restaurants in an Italian city. So if you guys are ever in Milan, which street is this? Autosafi. Autosafi. Okay, <laughs> whatever she said. Hello, hello! I am back in the Airbnb. Actually, I've been back for quite a while. I, as you guys saw, I went to the Miu Miu store after buying my Celine loafers because I was in a spendy mood. But I didn't end up getting the ballerina heels or flats because I wasn't completely in love and I need to be completely in love if I'm buying a designer item or else i'll just have buyer's regret i went to the grocery store afterwards to get more water and to get soy sauce for my sushi last night i still can't believe that they forgot to give me soy sauce but anyway here we are i also got two things of yogurt so i'll have that for breakfast tomorrow and friday before i leave I hope it's still okay too. I'm heating the other leftovers I had from the Chinese restaurant that I ate at on Monday because I was really unsatisfied with the sushi. You guys can tell I'm doing a thumbs up because this is so good. I also got these white jellies from the market in like Milan's Chinatown, so let's try it. Oh my god, very artificial. Yeah, just whatever. I'll bring them home and see.
Hello everyone, I just woke up <clears throat> from my nap and I'm on my way to the grocery store to get some snacks for everyone back home. Came back from the grocery store and I want to show you guys what I got. <clears throat> so I saw this TikToker about this, I think, American grandmother who lives in Italy. And she was showing products of what to get as a souvenir for Italy because I just don't want to get like postcards or, you know, like useless souvenirs. So I picked up pasta that you cannot find in Canada. So I'm not really sure what this pasta is made out of, but there's like tiny garlic on the box. So I'm assuming it's something garlicky. It looks really good. I can't wait to give this to my mom. Okay. Then, you guys are going to laugh, I got concentrated tomato paste for soups, to make pasta sauces, whatever. And I got, I got five guys, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm not even sure if it's enough because I obviously want to keep one for myself. One for my mom and my dad, one for Jonathan's grandmother and aunt, one for Jonathan's grandmother, and then one for my sister and Harry. Next, I got honey for my dad. He loves honey, so I got this for him. This artichoke and I think sun-dried either pepper or tomato. I think it's pepper and garlic spread. I'm sure my mom would love this. And more pasta i got one for jonathan's stepfather and mom and one for my parents as well i also went back to celine and went to ralph lauren to buy a gift for jonathan celine is for my sister she wanted the triumph belt in small so i got that for her and the beginning of my milan the day i was in milan i also got risotto for jonathan's grandmother now that my shopping is all out of the way i am going to pack finally i absolutely can't wait to be home i mean i love traveling and i know that i am super lucky to be able to do what i do but i'm just a little bit homesick and yeah i can't wait to be home <laughs> Sri Lankan food today. <laughs> they gave me the spicy sauce, so I'm very excited to try. Do I just put a little bit on? Yeah. That's very yummy. Is it too spicy? No, it's actually very good. I don't think you understand how spicy I can. It's actually abnormal how spicy okay. I can eat. Today, but I'm so glad Body I made it. And we here.